Oh my goodness! I'm so hungry. If only there was a special day devoted to one specific, delicious, cheesy food that I could eat today. <gasps> Wait a minute. It's National Cheeseburger Day! Cheeseburgers! Yeah! Cheeseburgers! Cheeseburgers! That's right, National Cheeseburger Day is September 18th. Which means I'm having a burger bonanza, but first, some history. The history of the hamburger is kind of all over the place, so bear with me. The year was somewhere between 1885 and 1900, and vendors at fairs and carnivals got the idea that they should put beef in between two pieces of bread. I mean, if I'm going to a carnival, I'm not sure that's what I'm looking for, but maybe you are. Well, somewhere in the mix, there's this place called Louie's Lunch out of New Haven, Connecticut in the United States. And they make the biggest claim to have invented the very first hamburger. But it wasn't until the year 1920 that burger chain White Castle introduced the burger bun, giving the hamburger its look that's known all around the world today. And flash forward to the late 1920s when a California restaurateur, that's a fancy name for somebody that owns a restaurant, placed a piece of American cheddar on top of that signature hamburger, and thus, the cheeseburger was born. And speaking of cheeseburgers, I'm starving, so let's head out on a little burger tour. Let's go. Hey, I'd like to place an order for pickup, please. Mr. Sad. Could I get a Royale with cheese? And a Coke. Eight minutes. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon. Is the quarter pound king still on the menu? Yes, it is. Could I have one, please? Mm -hmm. Did you want the double one? Just the single, please. Mm -hmm. the combo or just the burger? Just the burger. Anything else? That's it. That's all. Thank you so much. Good for you. Hi there. Could I have a baconator, please? Combo. Just the sandwich. Anything else? That's it, that's all. 926. Thank you. Hi there, welcome to McDonald's. What can I get for you? Hi there, could I have a quarter pounder with cheese, please? Sure thing, is that the meal or just the sandwich? Just the sandwich. All right, anything else for you today? That's it, that's all. Would you like to donate a dollar today to the Ronald McDonald House charity? Sure. Awesome, thank you so much. That's gonna come to 811 at the first window. Thank you. Let's go find some place to eat. Man, I'm hungry. Well, welcome to my burger banquet. My name is Mr. Sad and I'll be your guide. Wow, that is a bunch of burgers. So today I decided I would take you on a bit of a cheeseburger tour, a little bit of history here and there as to where the four of these delicious cheeseburgers came from. And we're gonna begin our tour right here in 1948 when McDonald's decided to introduce its very first cheeseburger. It consisted of ketchup, mustard, pickles, onions, cheese on a seeded bun with an all beef patty inside. And today I went ahead and grabbed a modern day equivalent, today going with a single quarter pounder with cheese. Let's go. Now, if this was any regular day at McDonald's, I'd definitely be grabbing fries. You take them from the red sleeve and you toss them in the lid there. But today it's all about the burger. It's all about the bun. And uh, let's rock and roll boogie with a quarter pounder with cheese. Okay, now I do want to say that there are so many other healthier options out there, but every now and again, a little burger treat is something special. Okay, what's next? The year was 2007, and Wendy's had hit a bit of a slump. Now, their newly minted CEO, it's kind of the person that's in charge of the company, Carrie Anderson decided they needed kind of like a back to basic style menu. And so they needed a burger that was going to appeal to the younger folks out there in the burger market. Enter the Baconator. If you order a Baconator, it actually comes with two patties, two pieces of cheese, and applewood smoked bacon on both layers of meat. 
And since it's cheese on a burger, well, that makes this thing a cheeseburger. And I'm going to town James Brown. I remember back at some point, there was this thing called the Baconator Boot Camp, where if you went and ordered a certain number of Baconators, you get the code off of the bag or the box, and then you could mail away the codes, and they actually would send you a pair of dog tags in the mail that said, I completed Baconator Boot Camp. And you bet I did. You bet I did. <clears throat> okay, so our next burger actually takes us 10 years later to 2017. And if you haven't noticed, we've got a bit of a cheeseburger timeline going on here. And I do want to say that make no mistake, this cheeseburger is number three on my list today, but is number one in my heart. Today's number three cheeseburger comes from Barry's own Burger Royale. Opening their doors in 2017, Burger Royale has an incredible selection of burgers, including a monthly feature where every month they make something unique, delicious, and sometimes crazy, but always tasty. This burger is parked between one delicious brioche bun, and its toppings include lettuce, tomato, pickles, onions, ketchup, mustard, and mayo. And I do want to say that this burger was the first one I picked up on my tour today, so it does look a little bit smooshy, but I'm going to go ahead and wager that it's going to taste incredible. Let's get it. Ooh, they call this burger the monarch beast, which means it is something special, and that it is. <laughs> I am making quite a mess here. Ooh, okay, last one. This burger takes us to 2018 to a little place called Burger King, otherwise known as the BK Lounge. And in 2018, they introduced the single quarter pound king. Now, you can also get it as a double as well. And speaking of royalty, I think I would bow down to Burger Royale any day over the Quarter Pound King. Just saying. Now, the Quarter Pound King actually features cheese, onions, pickles, ketchup, and mustard all on top of a sesame seed bun. And the beef is actually flame grilled, which gives it a rather smoky aroma and flavor. Now, when I was growing up, there was a Burger King in my hometown. Now, there might be one again, but the original one that was there actually closed. And I remember the play place used to, you, you could look down into the play place and it kind of like went down and into the ground. It was massive. And then after it closed, I'm pretty sure it became like a mattress factory outlet or a mattress store, something of the sort, and definitely absolutely nothing to do with cheeseburgers. All right, well, that was a lot, but I will tell you, I'm not nearly as full as when I completed my National Pizza Day Challenge. And if you haven't seen that video already, well, you should head on over to my YouTube channel and you should watch it right now, or maybe you're there right now. It would make sense if you were, but watch that one next. So happy National Cheeseburger Day to you. I'm Mr. Sad. May your pickles be crispy and your cheeseburgers be beautiful. We'll see you soon, Mr. Sad. Oh. Did I say may your pickles be crunchy or crispy? I don't know. All right, well, I hope they're crunchy. That doesn't make any sense.